have a little chat earlier on just so I can have an idea of what is going on here. Absolutely stunning. We're going to take a little tour and get an idea of what's involved. I guess we should start. This is the toddler area right here beside us, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it is. Cool. Yeah. So we'll just have a quick look, and I don't know if there's a. We'll just let people see that uh, it's got a. Well, it's got a lot going on. It's got a. I want to just sort of move in. Actually, that little orange guy is my favourite. I, I think we know what these things do when we just yeah. look at them. But you can explain again what this little. Uh, to me, it's like a little Pixar creation. It just has that yeah. gorgeous look this about it. This is our cosy cocoon. Nice. So it spins, which is very exciting for the Boom. kids. So they can push themselves in it and pretend to be an astronaut and everything. But the really amazing thing for this is that it's really for children who have autism. Right. And that may be here at a time when it's very busy and they feel overwhelmed. Okay. And they need somewhere to go that's safe, secure, and this is it. This right. is where they can go in, they can be spun around if they wanted, so their brain can concentrate on just the spinning and not the noises and the right. visual impacts. And then there's little um changes in texture inside so they can concentrate on that as well nice and this just gives them a place a safe zone within well, the playground that they well, can just calm their senses down well, one of the great things when we had a little chat this morning is just how all-inclusive it is and we'll see that as we go around there are many many you know kind of uh, uh, you know uh, uh, features that will basically be for everybody that, that that you know there's always been that issue about people in wheelchairs especially and as you mentioned with, with autism that they may not be able to play along with their brothers and sisters but this is exceptional here where just about every feature that's here has got an accommodation for what for we wanted everybody. was a playground that um, children can feel safe in that they can come and have fun but they can play with peers and it's for children of all ages and abilities so yeah. it's not just a special needs playground there's nothing like that this is a playground for all children to play side by side on yeah. So right. that's why it's a slightly different approach to other playgrounds in the sense that um, it's got pieces that are quite different in design. Yeah. Um, so this can be used for all children, but it also has that special addition of feeling a child for on the autistic spectrum that may feel a little bit overwhelmed. But it can also be used for anybody for else who else, wants yeah. to be yeah. Um, yeah. spinning. <laughs> and, you know, there's nothing. <laughs> who doesn't want to be spinning, especially exactly. at the weekend? That's, uh, that's the time you want to really be spinning. So, so what we did want, Paul, was we didn't yeah. want a playground where there was a wheelchair swing sort of right. stuck down the corner, and that's okay. where you know children with in wheelchairs went, and that was sort of the one the one thing right. that made it an inclusive playground. So that's what we didn't want. We wanted one where you know everyone can play together. And, and that is the together. beauty, of course. Like brothers, sisters, friends, and all that want to be in the same area doing the same things. Yeah, the idea that a lot families. of the features here are, are designed yeah. to do that. Yeah, because there are many families who might have one child that may have additional needs, yeah. but they will have other children that are fully abled. And to be able yeah. to come somewhere where both of those children are yeah. accommodated for and both can play side by side and mommies and daddies can be here together, that's really the key thing for this playground for us. Nice. Yeah. And we'll take a walk through what is the uh, sand pit here, which is a... A nice big elaborate sand pit. There's all sort of layers and levels to it. Um, again, like this alone, you could spend a good few hours, I'm sure, creating the the, the best uh, little kind of Sahara world that you want. And uh, are these sort of designs that were suggested, or were you able to? I don't know how what even one begins because I'm I'm guessing, and I know in some cases that it's a new, a new kind of a you know attraction. We'll say in a, in a playground. And others, I'm, I, I would imagine, had a good sort of tested you know uh, life beforehand and you knew this would be a good fit or but well, I think with, with this with this is called a sand factory okay um, and so you can see there's sort of lots, lots of pulleys and buckets and you know there's a lot of activity right that kids can get involved in and so you know they can, they can mess around and yeah, dump yeah. sand out and everything and normally what happens is this is in the middle of a sand pit and kids play but we again we wanted it so that all children can play beside each other right. so that's why we have this tarmacadam part to it so right. if you're in a chair you can play but you can play along the whole length of it and get gotcha. involved with everything and then the you yeah. can swing around and there's going to be sand there Brilliant. as well with fossils underneath that you know you can go dig for nice. so it just it's just something that all kids can play with together yeah, yeah. we have the uh, you know the the diggers and everything right. as well so there's a lot of activity there you know for, for, for the kids to, 
What is it. what is quite hot common in these things is that children in wheelchairs are on the outskirts. Mm. Yes. They're looking in and you know they might have something to play with on the outside and we set out from the very beginning yeah. with the sand pit is that we wanted them to be They're coming in inside in the tent with us. In yeah. the sand pit. Yeah. So yeah. there'll be children behind them, yeah. around yeah. them, in front of them and they're part of the whole yeah. sand pit. They're not at the side of it. Yeah. Yeah. And that's very yeah. important yeah. for us. Now we'll take a walk around here. I know these uh Benches are a great example of, of that very kind of a need and that wants to in, be inclusive to everybody. So these are very uh, special design picnic benches that aren't yeah. just your well, traditional sit down and. These were actually yeah. su a suggestion of the our engineer here in the in the council. Um, the beautiful Rory. The Rory, yeah. There you go. He had a, you know, he. It, it's a way that you know again wheelchairs or buggies or anyone with mobility issues, like this is this is. And enables everyone to sit down, have a picnic, and enjoy the yeah. playground. You know, so um, you know, even simple. Previously, we were looking at A frames, but they're much more difficult to get into. Whereas these right. are much easier to get in for everyone. And we should um, say, of course, these are going to be out when the grass is grown, because we had yeah, this incredibly yeah. hot summer. But they'll be sort of positioned yeah. out and about around yeah. the actual playground and the periphery and all the rest. Yeah. So There'll people be can two bring here, their and then the others will be spread out. Yeah. yeah. Once the grass is grown. Cool. No, I'm, I'm very keen one to see two. Uh, oh yeah. yeah, I just um, had a quick look. That's uh, that is amazing. So we might just address this guy since we're uh, up at this end before we go on to my favourite, uh, my current favourite anyway, which is the uh, the musical round. But this this is amazing too. This is rather than just your traditional seesaw plank of wood. This this can accommodate just about anybody in, in any way that they want to join in on on the. Uh, yeah, this. Um Traditionally seesaws are just uh, something that a child would sit on on either end and yeah. balance up but you would need core strength for that, you'd need leg muscles, all those things and we came across this piece which we loved because it requires team effort, children can sit on either end, they can stand on it or they can also lie in the middle. Right. So children who might have a strong muscle legs or core muscles will still be able to lie children on either end will be able to maneuver it and they'll still get that sense of movement of up and down plus children can actually walk from one end to the other and balance it so it's um Beautiful. it's an exciting piece because it's it's a new approach and a new design yeah, to yeah. a very old piece yeah. of equipment um, obviously better put up a sign about banning yoga people because there would be i'm sure an attraction <laughs> just to sit here all day long i've heard the happy pair want to come down i would and imagine yeah. they and would have a go on very it. well well it could be their new sleeping arrangements are close to the sea you know it could be very easy for them but yes i'm very keen to come around now to uh and plainly we can see that, that there's a still uh, uh, you know the final bits of work are being done the importance uh, of the uh, inspector giving everything the all clear that he knows that it's uh, yeah, not only beautiful yes. and fun but it's safe, safe yeah yeah um, so, so there are still little little bits and pieces the, to be done um, yeah the certificate That's and beautiful. then that allows insurance to then take over and we can ha open up the playground beautiful. so it's, it's paperwork now that we're waiting for but it's oh. a very important piece of paperwork i do remember having a little chat about this too this is the sensory pass which is all these very different uh, ridges so you get this kind of incredible uh, run of um uh, different surfaces and what would you said there's going to be uh, up on the uh, roof then is um, what was the plan this is going to this is as you say our sensory walkway so yeah. children get different sensations there'll be different planting around it so they'll have a visual of, of grasses moving and then on this roof here there'll be perspex and it's clear but there's a pattern of flowers on it very brightly colored which will give shadow and color play on the ground around them and as they look up particularly for children who would be um, very severely disabled in a wheelchair who wouldn't um, be able to access as many items as right. we'd like this will give them a still a very sensory input where they can see things and hear things and feel things as they just walk around a pathway beautiful yeah Again, no, no hippies. Babies, like babies oh, when absolutely. they're in buggies and they look up at the lights. Hippies, yeah. what about hippies? I do think stuff. hippies would be drawn to this very, yeah. very much. So we have to be very careful about, you know, who just goes in there and doesn't come out for hours. And <laughs> they just get overloaded with sensory colours and, uh, and uh, vibrations. Now here we go. This is my. This is just to me is unbelievable. We had a quick look at this earlier. Yeah. You're, you're going to play us a tune. You said you're going to do <laughs> Bohemian Rhapsody, was it? Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> but if you give an example, actually, the sound out of these things is just the so sound beautiful. Is beautiful. These are I think I think you can play a little bit, Jennifer. I thought that the, the uh, xylophone, you, you'll be able to play a little. You know, I can't play. Play Led Zeppelin, yeah. whole lot of love, just for you know, just the energy thing would be great. This is called a papilla. <laughs> Importantly, these are perfectly in tune. Right, perfect pitch all perfect the way. Perfect pitch all yeah. the way along and designed, and all pieces work together. 
like right. in the orchestra they're all tuned um, to work together uh, right. children who would have um, very sensory needs would be quite tuned into the sound of music and also h how accurate it is pitch wise right. Right. and things that aren't accurate can actually overwhelm their sensory input right. and um, aggravate them so what we created here is a, um, a musical area nice. to enhance sensory information for all children and to give them something that they can communicate with even for those children who are non-verbal right. they don't have to communicate with each other they just communicate through music banging playing la looking at each other's faces um, and creating something really beautiful now if you had like a quiet kid playing tubular bells like the theme from the exorcist on this it would probably be best to maybe back away a little bit for a while just to see now did you i want to hear this this thing over here this i just i did hear little bits of uh, of all these instruments earlier uh, talking about tubular bells this is almost uh yeah, because they just sound nice like yeah, usually yeah. playground music sounds rubbish sure amazing <laughs> Neve is probably yeah. <laughs> more talented when it well comes Well in fact Neve if you could this this little guy here I think is, 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 is particularly kind of sweet in its this sound. It's just got a yeah. gorgeous sound. Yeah, this is this, this is our xylophone, the one yeah. that we're all familiar with as kids. But as I said it's um <laughs> about this one as well is that there's going to be a stand with um, a little music book they'll have about four songs like twinkle twinkle row mm -hmm. row your boat things everybody knows but they're going to be color coded yeah. so and the only thing is you do know these instruments are gateway uh, gateway instruments to jazz so just just in case and you should warn <laughs> parents that the children may actually like jazz could be worse could yeah, be the recorder that's true that's true could be recorder yeah. we know these little guys uh, as they call occasions yeah uh, you get yeah. these a lot now in the bars um, so it's just like an alternative to an actual drum. Yeah, so it's but it's also for uh, vibration, so children can sit on it and they'll get to feel the mm. vibrations through their nice. body. The Beethoven, the, ba the Beethoven still, he, he was always about the, uh, in latter years he just used vibrations rather he couldn't hear oh really? anymore. Okay. So he just yeah. knew from the vibration this is the note that he's playing, wow. which is crazy. Mm -hmm. And we've got our traditional congas and bongas, I forget yeah. which is congas and which is bongas, but, uh, but uh, beautiful. And, and I think like again this is all wheelchair accessible yeah. yes, you know yes. so we want all all kids in very open in plan that's a, a, yes. it is beautifully yeah. uh, you know you just feel like you're in one big place and yet you can kind of step into a little small island yeah. of yeah. A, you know yeah. a particular type and uh, spend your hours yeah, yeah. it's just yeah. amazing just amazing and this is that uh, we should give you credit Neve. I think this is one of your <laughs> particular this uh, is Neve's baby this is my baby yes. yeah yes. nicely yeah. done and was that from I don't know where that came from. Had you seen anything like that? Because it obviously it hasn't been done in a playground before. But did you? Not in Ireland. No, right. music is a, is a huge part in our family. And um, as I'm working with children, I realised how important music is with children and right. how it affects them um, and their mood and their emotional well-being. How important it is for them to access music. So when these things were being designed to be used in playgrounds and all over the world and used outdoors, I thought we really need to have one. Yeah. In Ireland, yeah. you yeah, know, no. and, and start oh, having that conversation about good quality musical instruments and the benefit it has for children. And you just children. you just know that over time, uh, friends will start to work out pieces together. You know, yeah, they just yeah, start yeah. working on little rhythms, yeah, and before you yeah. know it, you'll just hear pieces of music floating out over the sea or out over you know the South Beach. Or yeah, people who aren't friends. Yeah. So yeah. all the kids can go in and they can actually. It's all about building relationships. Yeah, as well, yeah, yeah. You know? No, it could be great. Yeah. We could have a, a, a top-selling multi-million dollar band coming out of Grace just on the basis of this. We're hoping Hosey will actually come over. There you go. Yeah. That would work. That would work. Now we will. Uh, we'll, we'll get around to the, the uh, wonderful um, because it kind of ties in with the screens. We'll deal with this guy here, the climbing on a basket. But this, I don't know if you have a name for this guy. He's, he's quite the uh, quite the slide. We'll have to, we will have to come up. With. Is he called the tooth loosener? I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's yeah. obviously of a certain age. I mean, kids. I, I guess. As you said earlier, if, if you can climb up into the actual frame, it, it almost has its own kind of, uh, you know, uh, admission kind of yeah. test. So if you yeah. can climb up into this frame, you're old enough to, to go down a slide. That will be a lovely, lovely, sweet thrill. Um, you know, it is, a, it is, as we can see, it's a nice big slide and it will take you down onto nice soft ground. Yeah. But a thrill. Yeah, and, and I uh, think, like when we started, uh, 
on the project first and we were asking people what they wanted the thing that kept on coming back to us was there was the, the previous playground didn't have anything for older children right you know there was there was nothing that could really engage a, an 11 or a 12 yeah. year old whereas this actually will you know yeah. that, that was one of the yeah. things we thought of so it was it was it was to try um make sure that all ages had something here as well so we we have a smaller smaller slide for younger kids and then of course the big sure. the big slide and this is like the uh you know the, the, the tree house from heaven where you've just got all sorts of uh, little rooms and little places yeah. to climb into and different ways to get there and then always always this great escape down yeah oh, amazing really really it's beautiful okay for a child to climb up all the way up to the top and think you know what yeah i'm, I'm not, not up for this yeah. not up for this. i'm going to come back down again and then when they finally yeah. feel comfortable that's a huge achievement in itself sure so yeah yeah i think uh, kids know what know what the limitations and their absolutely and the happiness is that it's there all the time so yeah. as, as they grow they'll grow yeah. into different yeah. parts yeah. of this playground that's the and thing. they'll almost yeah. make a journey around it where yeah. they'll yeah. start off possibly in the toddlers and then suddenly they're progressed to the next class and exactly. yeah exactly. there we go so now we, we so have it unfinished oh yeah well over here we have the zip line yeah. oh yes the zip line and it's you'd almost not notice it because it's kind of nicely sort of uh yeah, sort we, of we got to keep the trees, the trees which is brilliant great yeah zip lines are amazing again like a, an age group will know this is for them and, and you've got two which is the sweetness of a, a little race and, and yeah. uh, that's magical yeah. that is fantastic wow <laughs> have you um have you ever done i've done zip lines have you ever done a zip line yeah of course rock and roll <laughs> I'd say when this place is locked up at night, there's all sorts of shenanigans. So we should we should address here now that it's oh not yes. yet uh, complete, but this is another wonderful kind of uh, all access uh, footbridge. It's a, it's what it's a kind of a suspension a wooden bridge, suspension wooden, bridge. A wooden suspension go. bridge right. for wheelchairs to access and for other children. So it's yeah. just it gives them that sense of movement when they're walking across, just that little thrill because it's moving under them. Nice. Um, it's going to lead over to a double slide there which I see is a wider slide yeah. which you have from the other side as well which exactly. again for, a, a, a for child carers. and a carer or whatever yeah. can be down. go down together yeah. and, and be yeah. a yeah that's beautiful that is, that is so uh, sweet it won't be put on it won't be finished yet until the yeah. grass is all well as we've grow. said i think we've addressed it but certainly i'll address it in the text that that you know this uh, incredible weather has, has has delayed the grass growing yes. so that's yeah. just rightly we'll wait and let that uh, get a good uh, you know foundation before mm. we uh yeah so there, part there'll, there'll be a few scramble things and logs around here but again we can't put yeah. them down until the grass is fully grown now we have some nice photographs over here already <laughs> taken but this is our the famous south beach playground wall which is a yes. list of well there's so many people really who who right from the start when this was announced that you could sense in the whole town like just everything about this mm -hmm. makes sense and every, everybody wants to get involved and right from those early fundraisers right down at you know the air old grounds yeah. to that fairy tale donation right yeah. at the end it just felt wonderful it just felt you know because i had in my head it'd probably take another year maybe hopefully not that long but it was going to be a l another few fundraisers but then like all good fairy tales it sort of yeah, the it prince charming wrote in and it took yes, off yeah. Yeah. yeah i think yes. we knew it was going to be a long-term project we were yeah. sort of in it for for the for the long term and we were just really really lucky yeah. very grateful that we did have that well, I felt very generous donation i just felt that why wait another year i just i was going to you know slowly <laughs> dripping in in ten thousands and all that but but uh, once you keep that anonymous thing, I'm happy. Yeah, <laughs> right. That was the main rule I had. I said when I gave it to you, so exactly. we'll, yeah, exactly. we'll we understood that. that yeah. So, like one yeah. of the um, one of the fundraisers we had was getting, you know, you could get your name on the wall, and this is it. Yeah. Here. So, p you know, parents could get their children or their dogs. But uh, Max is in there on it, on it yeah. Um, and so, so the kids will be able to come and take a search and, and have yes. a look for it as well. So that's all. And, our, and yeah. the sponsors. And the sponsors yeah. as well, because uh, it was really, yeah. it was a whole of community project. You Absolutely. know, it was individuals yeah. and families and businesses all came together to yeah. support. And, and obviously we, we had youth support from the council as well, because yeah. they put in 150,000 into this project that they hadn't God anticipated, that's which that's was great. Yeah. But they also gave us loads of advice and worked with us on it. And, yeah. uh, you know, they, they did the tendering and everything. So it was brilliant. So it was, it, it was yeah. this project it's a really good example of how community and and the council and businesses can work together to produce something really good for was them. there ever a moment of, of any doubt about it because you know obviously you don't know we, we all start you know kind of with, with a hope in our hearts that something good is going to happen because we you know this makes sense but i don't know whether there were difficult times when it felt well, maybe this is a going to be just a bit too much to, to yeah. chew i think just before we got the big donation I okay <laughs> i think we were getting tired well I, yeah. <laughs> like because like we, you know we were meeting every week and then we'd have fundraisers at the weekend and yeah. it was it, there was a lot of work yeah went I mean, into it every monday evening for yeah. you know yeah. got the two yeah. years we were meeting yeah. up making sure that the design and was, was good and 
what we needed from it and trying to get ideas for funding mm. and yeah, meeting the last people. few miles are always the most difficult yeah. walking wise you just feel you're nearly there and at the same time it feels like you're tired and you just wish yeah, it was yeah, done and yeah. so I, it I, all came together I, I did talk to you then but I, I'm guessing when that came through I don't know how high can you guys jump? What uh, was the, what do you was know we action? didn't? There was a, <laughs> we didn't. There was a sense of did that? Did yeah. that just happen? Did like really? Because yeah. it was it was in a coffee shop in town, and, yeah. and they walked yeah. out, and we just looked at each other, and we were sort of shaking, going, "Is fantastic. that is that true?" And it, it took us a while yeah, to actually. Did, actually we, right. we didn't even really want to tell anyone because we wanted to wait to make sure it was all Real. all going to happen. Real. It, yeah. it was yeah. Yeah, just it yeah. just felt like yeah. one of those things that you see on TV. Yeah. It doesn't That's actually it. happen. Wow, yeah, um, it was amazing, but yeah, amazing. It was. Like meeting you in town and all that, obviously they were, they were, you know, they had well thought about it, and they obviously don't just tribute, you know, throw money like that around without any thought. But, but um, yeah, we 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 we'll probably never find out exactly what it was, but obviously everybody in the whole town thanks them forever because that's oh, such oh, a huge, huge, uh, huge, huge gift. Yeah, it, yeah. it almost, you know, beyond comprehension yeah, to say yeah. this is going there without a brand sticker on it or without any kind of, you know, look at me, look what I did. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. So now we should just mention quickly here. There's a, a wonderful, I guess you know, it's, it's almost like a, a like a boot camp kind of, you know, mm-hmm. in the sense that you have to really be fit to get through this, and that's what uh, the challenge will be to see how well you can make it through. There's going to be very different. Um, I, I'm sure there's more to this part here and all that, but just the climbing through the rope and then. Yeah, I think that's oh it. yeah. Oh yeah. Have you guys yeah, done it? Do you want to try it now? No, just I to show people how it's, uh, either, uh, yeah, barefoot's good. Shoes, barefoot yeah. good. Barefoot yeah. always works with. I any. think. I think it's just a balancing. Oh yeah, of course. Thing. Yeah, you've yeah, got no, your ropes all, and yeah. you've got your yes, yeah. yes, yes. It's beautiful. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Once they've got the balance down, then it's how fast can we get across? Who's the fastest? Nice. Yeah. So we can see our, 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 our super wide slide as we come around here for the carers and the, and the children and coming out, having come across the uh, wooden suspension bridge. Obviously little tunnel here. This area will will, will for now uh, be cordoned off but it'll be, yeah. I'm sure within a few weeks or months I'd say we're going to get, possibly get some rain and it'll, uh, it'll establish itself properly. It's, it's actually it's coming along well considering we haven't had any water at all but yeah. I think in order to make it really robust it needs a good six week solid right. yeah. growth. Well you want that strength and you don't yeah. want to sort of just have a, a baldy head like me uh, yeah. just half growing hair. We should say of course there's a great big basketball court here which is always welcomed by uh, a lot of people. I think a uh, nice feature too because you would think the space is there you think well, what can we yeah. use it for should we put lots more small things in but a nice big open space yeah. like that in a, in a busy playground is a nice breeder yeah. well, again we thought about uh, you know families and um, the older children yeah. going yeah. being brought to a playground oh there's nothing there for me mom I don't want to go yeah. Yeah. and you know give them a basketball course yeah. and our yeah. basketball they'll yeah. come down and play it's here. like having about like 15 movies going on and, and kids can choose to watch the kind yeah. of movie they yeah. want to watch right now they can go to the 15a or they can go to the you know the kids cartoon there's all these different little pockets and like that for a family just to be in this same space yes. but all doing their yeah. what exactly they want to do not waiting for the other yeah. yes, sibling absolutely. or whatever <laughs> which that's you know we all, yeah. as families we all have to do that at some point but it's nice sure. to come somewhere where it's everybody's having fun everybody's roof. safe yeah. and yeah, yeah. it's all catered for now this is this is a uh, pretty stunning as well because uh, again it'll be a huge huge kind of welcome addition for a lot yeah. of people in the town uh, the idea that somebody in a wheelchair can also enjoy yeah. good old-fashioned yeah. you know swing swing yeah. is beside the hammock swing yeah. is beside the ordinary swings it, you know like everyone can swing right down together, the full range you of know, uh, so it's not yeah not sort of off on one end of the playground and it's that constant thing of you know families are right beside each yeah. other as opposed to you know johnny's over there yeah. because yeah, this is his area yeah. and this yes. is my area yeah. Yeah. you're actually beside each other for just about everything here yeah. you can be yeah. involved and you can yeah. yeah yeah and these uh i, I mean the swings of course then as, as we kind of touched upon this morning we had a quick look they have everything again in them, but we should mention that this particular are they basket swings? Oh, what are they? Yeah. We've got the nice matching yeah. set over here out in yeah. the uh, patio. This is uh, also a lovely climbing area. Again, people can just sort of almost like a chill out sort of a space where they'll climb up and kind of sit that's in there and that's exactly yeah. it. So that you you know we generally find you go to playgrounds. There's an awful lot of children gathering around this basket swing, mm. and a lot yeah. of them are just looking for somewhere to chat and to just chill yeah. out. Yeah. Yes. So yeah. um, what we found was then this piece of equipment that'll allow them to do that they can sit there chill the chill out room chill there we out. go with the jazz playing just yeah, over the wall exactly. there it'll be <laughs> yeah, you're right, <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> um uh, just so you that, know that's Dave free <laughs> <laughs> no 
size. Ed. So yeah, and, and the swings now, we've got our naturally our traditional swings, but you've got some specialist ones here at the end, again, for different ages and different combinations of people. So yeah, yeah you've got your, uh, obviously your toddler at the end, but yeah. this this one, the, the two here now are very special. Yes. The, the black one being the black a... one is called a tango suite or oh, emotional nice. seat, Boom. depending where you yeah. So um, it's for mommy or daddy can yeah. sit on that side and toddler preschooler the toddler in here. can sit in there. So you've so got your adult on one side, your guard yeah. and yeah. being able yeah. to give the uh, toddler that comfort of being with And just a face to face, face thing. Yeah, so it's know, a very comforting, so easy yeah. kind of experience. That but even not, siblings. Yeah, like yeah exactly. Sibling, brothers, sisters, sister, anybody so with who's a looking after the kid can yeah. suddenly be involved in there a little bit of fun. Yes. And this one here now is is a the perfect example of just you're completely safe in here. If you felt yeah. any kind of vulnerability about a swing, yeah. this this will, will make sure that you do not yeah. in any way, shape or form have to worry because yeah. it's, uh, it's very, it's very, very sturdy. sturdy and this clips on and off, just opens the front and clips on. Nice. So I feel like we're almost walking through, you know, Rio before the carnival happens. Yeah. <laughs> it's like we're getting to see yeah. all the various different stalls where the music's going to be played, and yeah. suddenly, you know, when this opens in, 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 in next week, or the end of next week, whenever it is, yeah. I would imagine the sheer amount of energy and, and fun in the air. That's and what course, we hope. Yeah, yes. it was yeah. nothing quite like. It was nothing quite like the undiluted, you know, unfiltered joy of a child hitting well, something for for what they don't quite realize how, how does this happen why am i you know how does this, this is and perfect god love them they've been walking up and down yeah. here going looking through yeah. the bars so yeah. it'd Running be great to take the down, bars yeah. away i don't know how the workman got any work done to be honest because like every few minutes there was children saying when's it open bribe them a few sweets let me just have one go mr yeah. i'll give you a mars bar <laughs> and we have this, this again this is one of the inclusive uh features yeah. Yeah. So you've got your little kind of uh, roundabout, what are we call these, roundabouts? The roundabouts, yeah, so yeah. the there wheelchair we will go on in here and nice. it's Hasn't protected so it can't, I mean you obviously put your brakes on but yeah, it also can't all. go back because of that. Yeah. And the children can work together yeah. with this, it's like a steering wheel, or ah, a steering wheel, nice. but it yes, turns yes, yes, it inside. Yes. So oh, you can have often. kids yeah. on the outside pushing it or you could be sitting inside and nice. turning it Beautiful. together. So again, ah. it's all working together, everybody, Magic. regardless of abilities. No, we will. We will give a, a big, big kind of you know thank you to not only obviously this incredible committee that you guys are part of, and there's, there's mm, been some sorry. incredible work by by people who, who were getting together on the Monday nights when it was a little bit sort of cold and it, nobody was actually kind of you know in the mood, we'd say, for doing yet another meeting. Uh, did, did, did this sort of I don't know if you had like when you dared have a vision when you first started out of how it might look. I don't know whether this is. If, if, you know, when you think about buying your dream house, you have ideas about what it might look like. I don't know whether this was kind of it or whether it evolved it's naturally. It's, over. Yeah, it's, it's better. Right. <laughs> we had a we had a hope, we had a prayer, we had a vision, I suppose, right. of what we would like for children in Greystones and surrounding areas. But we didn't have the expertise to to see the pieces that it would take yeah. to pull that together. We right. had an idea. Yeah. And we were very lucky working with her designer in all place she saw the vision and she knew it. Yeah. she she knew what we needed and she was able to meet that really well yeah. you're both very demanding women did you make her the designer cry at any point that she did no, <laughs> no. <laughs> she was always happy she was brilliant ah, yeah. okay and what's her name we should we should Danielle. give Danielle. 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 Brilliant. 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 well i do think it's going to be um it's like it's like christmas but this is not just for christmas this is forever this yeah, idea yeah. that yeah. all the way through the entire year it'll just change the landscape but it, yeah. it'll be a generation of kids will suddenly have a whole new outlet and a whole new gathering point and, and I suppose for us really as a community what we'd love to see down the line and I know Jennifer you feel just as passionate about this is that this the way that we approach this would be slightly different to other playgrounds and that it was all about inclusivity for yeah. all yeah for all abilities and all ages um, and pushing the boundaries of that a bit more so right. looking at the design in more detail and really asking the question how is it inclusive how yeah. does it actually right. work yeah. Right. So a child just wheeling up next to a piece sure. didn't really work for us, which yeah. is it's the norm. It's not that token the approach of yeah. we just yeah. need to tick a box here yeah. and that's exactly. all we want to do. So we'd love to see this approach taken elsewhere um, yeah. and so that, you know, this, this idea keeps growing and growing and growing and that children who have additional needs are not segregated somewhere else or to a, an area or a different playground right. yeah. or that yeah, their yeah. older brothers, brothers and sisters come and they're bored because there's yeah. nothing for them to do that this is the start of something new for Ireland. Yeah. Now we will say that given the um, well given the, the crazy weather in a way beautiful weather but it has sort of it, it was part of the delay process for the grass growing but also that you have to be completely kind of you know safe and secure yeah, and, and that yeah, would be yeah. 
hope certainly within the next week that should be sorted. So we, we, oh, the word oh, will go out there. But yeah. but uh, uh, the one thing you can say about a place like this is worth any kind of weight, really. Oh, you know, we yeah. can we can all taste it. We can see yeah. it. The, the yeah. cake is in the window. We know it's there. It's ready to eat. We want to get it right. Yeah. yeah, we want to get it right, and we yeah. don't want to risk you know sort of rushing it and then finding out well actually it would have been better. You know, yeah, but then you're trying to repair yeah. a car while yeah. it's yeah. driving. Yeah. You know, you, it's yeah, yeah. very hard to work on, a, on on something that's already open. And and the, the one thing that we do want to do is actually open it because it is, uh, you know, we we do want all the special needs groups in, in the area to be able to use it, but it, it's going to be really busy the first while, and there's sure, so much yeah, interest yeah. in it. Yeah. So our first day, we're hoping to open up for those groups to come in and that they have a bit of breathing space and just to, to exactly. use it and, uh, and enjoy it. And for um, them to sort of know, you know, know the playground well and yeah. to know there are yeah. many, many places for them to go within the playground, yeah. just to establish that firmly at the very beginning yes. and not be kind of, you know, sort of yeah. in a queue trying to see what's, what's yeah. there. Exactly. Yeah. It's yeah. like a huge difference in the yeah. confidence they'll feel that this is for them for them, yeah. And yeah. it's for their brothers yeah. and their sisters yeah. and their exactly. best mates. So you certainly them. don't want to frighten them because yeah. they never yeah. want to come back or anything yeah. like that yeah. or that it's too overwhelming. Too too busy cool. so um that'll be the initial first uh, children who will come through the gate yeah so in regard to this kind of project we are very lucky in this town we have our i would imagine within the next five years we'll have that wonderful east coast greenway which should be like look like a reality maybe it'll take 10 years before it's, it's actually there but it looks like it's sort of on the way it does seem to be a, a kind of a you know positive feeling in the, in the town for that when people yeah, actually positive. get together yeah. the right people that these yeah. things can be done and this is a great example of you know what might feel like a late night kind of chatter wouldn't it be great actually we can have to just do it and yeah. see what yes, happens yeah. absolutely and it is absolutely it's a it's a group effort there are so many people involved yeah. in this to make this uh, what you see here today yeah, yeah. every um, person plays such an important role, role. yeah Cool. So now I can write the seventy thousand off on tax returns, right? On my VAT and all that, yeah. But I know yeah, it's an on, but I can you can. Yeah, you yeah, can correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 